I decided I wanted to make this one a side part. I already did my part on the side. Um, and now I'm just going to go ahead and um, take out my edges. I'm not taking out like a bunch of leave out on the sides. Um, I'm not too concerned about having hair covering the tracks because of how I lay the tracks. And then also because it's going to be like a side part. So I should be all right. So I'm just leaving out like a little bit of edges. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and start braiding down my hair. So I'm not the best braider in the world. So the braid pattern that I'm doing is just the straight backs like them going like the cornrows going straight to the back. Um, if you know how to do all the different <laughs> like designs underneath the cap, by all means, be my guest. Um, I am not doing all that. Um, now, I recommend braiding your hair, even if you're not a good braider maybe even like try doing some twists or something going straight back like flat twists if you can um now you can't you don't necessarily have to do braids underneath your style you can like brush it straight back into a ponytail like a low ponytail um or like a low bun um i have a, like a, another video i'll link it below showing uh that method but honestly i just like braids because the hair lays flatter underneath the cap with braids um and it's not as poofy so now I'm just twisting, um, twisting up my leave out in the front. Some people braid this, but I'm not good at braiding backwards. So I just did a little twist going to the front and I'm gonna secure it with a little bobby pin. And then I just braided the ends of it because that, <laughs> that was a lot easier. Um, but yeah, this is what the overall braid pattern looks like. It is nothing special, just something to like keep them down. You know what I'm saying? So um, after that, I took... Um, a couple of braids the ends of like maybe like three braids on each side three or four however many braids i did um some braids on each side and i just pinned it up with a bobby pin and so that it would stick flat to my head so this is the cap that i'm using it's just a plain regular black stocking cap that looks like this i don't use multiple caps when doing my installs i know some people use like two caps for extra protection me i'm always fine with two i never have uh, trouble with the glue leaking through my hair because I make sure to cover my hair really really well with the um, morning glory hair protectant and the um, the got to be free spray so one cap is good enough for me so I'm just going to make sure it fits um, I'm just pulling my leave out forward and just making sure I can see all of the parts underneath the cap um, because now I'm going to take my white eyeliner pencil and go through and mark out where my leave out is now usually when I do my stocking caps, I don't pull the sides all the way over my ear and cut out ear holes like I do with a wig install. Like I found myself doing this and by the time I did it, it was already too late. I was invested so I just kept going. But typically what I would do is pull the cap back um, where the, you know, the thick part, the thick band of the cap, I would pull that to where that meets the part of my leave out. Like the hair that I left out in the front, I would pull it up to that part and leave it like that. I don't know what in the world possessed me to do this, honestly. I mean, you can do this way and just cut off the excess cap, like that's fine, but I just never do my cap like this. So I was kind of mad though, because if you see in the back, I cut the ear hole too far to the side. So I had to like glue the tracks around that, if that makes sense. Um, so if you do this method, just make sure you cut like a small hole when cutting out your ears and don't cut out a giant chunk like I did. So anyways, um, this is the Morning Glory Hair Protectant. That is what it's called, Protective Shield. That is what it looks like. You get it from the beauty supply store. I don't use a lot of this, honestly. I apply this first. Um, as you can see, I need some more. Um, but I apply this first and I mostly apply this to the edges of the cap because I feel like this is what helps the cap stop from sliding so I concentrate this the most on like the perimeter of my hair um, wherever um, the the edges of the cap is going to be so like where my leave out is and where the part is that's where I really put this the heaviest and I'll still put some like towards the back but really mostly towards the back I'm then using my free spray free spray I love that because it makes the cap hard and um it creates like a really good shield in between like your hair and the cap and the glue and all of that um to be completely honest you probably don't need morning glory um like you can get it if you want like the free spray to me does a good job as well i've done it both ways honestly child back in the day i used to do 
quick weeds without a cap but we ain't even gonna get into that because that was a hot mess but anyways so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and um put on the free spray and then i'm just gonna blow dry everything in between so the hair i'm using for this install is from beauty forever their information is in the description box below um, they get me um, three bundles of 24 inches, but in the box I got this wig cap. I got this little strip thing. I don't even know what that is, y'all. I got this hair band, um, and then inside of this little smaller bag, I got another headband. Um, I got some really cute eyelashes that look like this, the typical eyelashes. And then it also came with a makeup applicator brush. So the, basically the same stuff you would get with a wig is what comes with these bundles. And this is what the bundles look like. They're a body wave and they're really, really shiny and thick and pretty. I'm gonna try to use as much of the bundles as I can for this style because I want a really full look. So let's go ahead and get started laying these tracks. So taking a look at the bundles, I can see that you get a pretty good amount of hair per bundle. That's just one whole bundle. Um, like I said, I want to try to get as much of in, uh, much of the hair in my head as possible. So if this is your first time doing a quick weave, you've never done it before in your entire life, you've come to the right place. I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing that you want to do is take um, your hair now that we're laying the track in the back and you're going to measure it from side to side. Now my cap, as I mentioned earlier, is a little lopsided. So typically it would go from like ear to ear in the back, but I can't really do that because it's scalp there. Um, so I am just going to measure it from where the wig cap starts to where it ends on the other side, but everybody else should be going from ear to ear, side to side. The glue that I'm using is this 30 second hair bond glue. Got this one in beauty supply store. It's my favorite kind of glue. Um, be completely honest. I don't let this thing dry for 30 seconds <laughs> before I put it on my head. I'll put the glue on. Make sure y'all don't use a lot of glue. I'm sorry. The reason why y'all's glue be seeping through to your hair is one because you're not putting enough of the hair protectant on your cap and two, you're probably using too much glue. Okay. A little bit of glue goes a very, very long way. Now, what I started to say is I don't let it dry for the full 30 seconds. I give it a quick blow and then put it on. But just to make sure you're not using like a ton of glue. It's not necessary. It's going to stick regardless. Like you don't need a whole bunch to where it's seeking through your head. If you're worried about it seeping through, like do you see that nice formed um, like shield, like mold that I have on the back of my cap? That's what your cap should look like. And if your cap don't look like that, the glue gonna seep through. Okay, so make sure it looks like that. Make sure you can't see any of your hair underneath the cap after you put your mold on. That's how you know you did it right. So I'm going to show you again because I feel like I went really, really fast. But if you take a quick look at my cap on the back, you see how like on the left hand side over there, you can kind of see my braids underneath it. That's what you don't want. You want it to look like how it looks on the right side where you can't see any braids or anything. It looks like a mold. If you can see your braids underneath the cap like you see on the left, like I would probably get glue on my hair a little bit on that side if I used a bunch of glue. But I don't use a lot of glue, so I never have that issue anyway. But um, yeah, that's where you get your seepage from. You want it to be a complete mold over your cap. Okay, so now this is me giving it a little dry, a little pat, 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 little blow. Um, and then that's it. So, you know, we can't see the back of our head without a mirror. So what I do to make sure I'm putting the track in the right place is I'm using my fingers to feel where the last track is. And then I'm going to place the next track right above it. Um, again, because I said I wanted this style thicker, um, I'm going to place these tracks a lot closer together than what I normally would. Typically, I would place the tracks like a fingertips width apart. Um, if I, you know, if I was trying to just be real fast and didn't care about fullness, but since I want it really, really full, I'm stacking these tracks like right on top of each other. Cause I have three whole bundles that I'm trying to get in. And also if you accidentally put your track like too close to the other one or too far apart, you can move it. You can slide it before you mash it into place. Like you can move it around. It's fine. So this is how far one bundle got me. I'm about to start on the next bundle. It still got to half of my head, even though I was like um, purposely putting the tracks close together, it, it still got me this far. But that's just because it's a lot of hair on the bundle. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and start on the second bundle and I'm gonna walk you all through the process one more time. 
So when I get to the second bundle, I'm still doing the same, you know, basic things. Like I'm measuring the track from side to side, making sure it's the right length. I'm stopping at where my, where the line of demarcation stops for my um, projective sh protective shield, as you can see. And then I'm going to cut the track and apply it. Um, but when I start on the second bundle, this is when I'm going to start like, well, when I get a little bit up far further up, but this is where I like start curving the tracks like upwards a little bit towards the ends. This is so like when the wind blows and stuff, you don't see your tracks, especially if you didn't use a lot of leave out, um, start curving it upwards and this will make it so you don't see no tracks or anything or your hair. Now, once I reach the top, like once my last track reaches the bottom of that line where my leave out marking is that like, like that white pencil this is when i start applying the tracks a little bit differently so instead of keep going in a u shape i'm going to apply um my part is like on the left side um so i'm going to apply the tracks going like straight back now because it's only a couple more tracks left to put in so i don't have to keep going into a u and then also on the other side as you can see i've met um i've reached the line of where my leave out is like that little white line so i need to stop there so i'm just gonna put my tracks going straight back and I'm just going to keep doing that until I reach the other white line on the other side for my leave out. Once all that's done, we're basically done with the hairstyle, like with installing it. Now it's just time to style it. But before we start styling, I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the excess cap. Um, it's real easy for this to come off um, and it's not going to slide because again, we use the morning glory and as well as the, um, the got to be free spray. So, and as well as like laying the glue on top of all that, I think the combination of the three really stops the cap itself from like sliding. So if you apply, like did the first couple steps, right? Like cutting this cap off should be like no problem at all. Nothing is going to slip or slide. Like you should be good to go. Just make sure you don't cut your natural hair at the top when you start cutting off the cap around your leave out so this is the fun part for me i really like being able to style the hair just to like get the final look um so the first thing i'm doing here is just un um, unraveling my leave out and i'm using my bio silk um, and i'm going to put that on my edges and my leave out at the top um, because i'm getting ready to flat iron it first just to make sure um, everything looks as smooth as possible For my edges, I'm using Edge Booster. I did wash my, just my edges um, before I did this style because I wanted like to, you know, install the Edge Booster on clean edges. When your hair is clean, your edges lay a lot better. So I had to wash my edges, y'all. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swoop my edges. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna wrap them up. Now I'm just gonna take my brush and brush through this hair. This hair, the curl pattern is super pretty. So I didn't wanna like style the hair itself in this moment. I kind of just wanted to wear the hair in its natural texture. Um, so I'm just brushing the hair to blend it out. Um, it blends really, really well with my natural hair. So I didn't have no trouble with that. I'm first like brushing it out with a paddle brush. Um, and then I went through with like a, a bristle brush just to blend my leave out at the top but it looks super pretty and fluffy. I like this fluffy, uh, thick look because the hair, it looks soft. Like it, it looks soft on camera and it's as soft as it looks in person. Overall, I really love this hair. It was a really, really good um, match with this style. Um, I like how I'm able to wear it and it's like natural wave. And I like how it blends so easily with my hair. But yeah, like I said, all the information for this hair is in the description box below. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And that's it. Adios. Till next time.